This video was brought to you by Technically Not a Technician, and in today's video, I'll be showing off two of my modified arcade 1UP cabinets. These two arcade cabinets are unique in that they are clones of the expensive and short-lived line of Quake Arcade Tournament Edition arcade cabinets. As far as I know, at the time of making this video, I'm the only person who's cloned a Quake Arcade Tournament Edition arcade cabinet. Let alone two of them. If you'd like to learn how you can clone your very own cab, please find the link in my description on getting the software, and once I'm done with my build, I'm sure I'll post more helpful how-tos. For those of you who are unaware of this arcade cabinet, let me explain. The arcade version of Quake, called Quake Arcade Tournament Edition, was created by LBE Systems under a full license from ID Software. Lasertron produced and distributed the device. The game port deviates slightly from the original Quake. With this port of Quake, you can play the standard single-player game with monsters. The game could also simulate a deathmatch round with bots, and multiple cabinets can be connected for multiplayer LAN play. The famous Quake 2 map, The Edge, which was included in this game as well, was one of the levels that were not exactly the same as those on the Quake CD-ROM. When shot, some monsters would drop prize packages that would cause the machine to dispense tickets since it was also a redemption machine. Finally, the level of difficulty of gameplay was also standardly set to Nightmare, making the game almost unplayable for someone new to the game. There was a typical AMD or Intel PC with a Quantum 3D video card inside the cabinet, as they weren't all the same model PC. There are no jammer boards or anything similar. Inside the cabinet, there was even a keyboard and mouse. However, they were not customer-facing and were only used to manage the systems. The machines could have run more than just Quake because they were regular computers, which would have made for the ideal all-purpose gaming machine. All of the Sega Gameworks locations in the US also had Quake arcades installed. Each Gameworks had four cabinets, and when all of the machines were connected to a remote server, up to 32 people could play a deathmatch. Today this cabinet is rare, as few were made. This is due to the game's high production costs, at around $7,500 each, and the fact that, at the time of production, most consumers already had the game on their PCs. Making for low demand for this game at arcades. I also fully believe that at the time of making this video, I may be the only person who can host an arcade LAN party, and that this may be the first time in a long time that this software has seen a deathmatch. From what I've seen on the internet, I can tell you that people are reporting that there are about six Quake cabinets known to exist. I can also tell you that the renowned Galloping Ghost Arcade has one of those cabinets that can be played, and from what I've heard, it's in a quite dismal state of disrepair. I have even seen something that seems to be a clone being sold. The only thing I know about that device is what is written in the advertisement, but I am certain that it is not the appropriate cabinet for the game in question. What I think I like most about this mod is that I'm not only able to clone a rare cabinet that I'd never have a chance at playing normally, and if I wish, I could also play the other first-person shooters in the original Quake series, and if I add main, I can add bowling, golf, or any trackball game I wish. In reality, I think this could be a great arcade cabinet for online play. I mean, who doesn't want to make LAN parties a thing again? Anyway, I want to thank you for watching my video. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it informative. If you did, then please subscribe to the channel and remember to like and comment on this video. If you shared it on social media or with a friend, that wouldn't hurt. I know these are small clicks for you, but they mean a lot to this little channel. Thank you.